Hey, Hawaiian Jeff here from the Jersey Shore. There's a few things about Actuate Bert that I want to show you. I'm going to show you three ways to build a dashboard using Bert 360. The first way is the easiest. Somebody has already created a series of tabs and gadgets within their login, then shared them out as a dashboard within the gallery. To access this, I just have to click the Add Content button, and I'm presented with the Dashboard Gallery, where other shared dashboard components have been made available to me and other users. To use one of these, all I need to do is drag or double-click, and that instantly adds that dashboard and any number of tabs and gadgets to my specific login as we can see across the top here. And they are fully functional and also restricted based upon the user's credentials. The second way to create a dashboard is to add my own tab. And I do that by clicking the new tab icon. Within the new tab, I'm presented with not just the dashboard gallery, but also a gadget gallery and the ability to create a new gadget. I'm going to utilize the gadget gallery and make use of some specific gadgets that somebody else has created and shared out for others to use. And I just simply drag and drop these gadgets onto my tab and they instantly become available again with the restrictions of. To close the gallery, we just simply click the X. I have additional options to be able to modify the layout of the screen. And here I'm given one column, two column, three columns, or a free form. So if I decide to put this to one column, it'll be one over the other stretched across the page. Or if I say three columns, now I can move things about. I can add additional content by clicking the Add Content button. And let's say I want to add into here a calculator right from the Google Gadget Gallery. The third option is to create the visualizations from scratch. So here I'll create a new tab. And within the new gadget segment of the gallery, we're presented with data visualization options, data selection options, performance gadgets, report, and extras. So the easiest thing is to make use of existing content. And we'll do that by taking a report, and we just simply drag this gadget down to our tab. We're asked to give it a title, and then also what is the report that we want to show. Clicking Browse. I'm able to then browse through the reports that I have access to on the iHub, and I'm going to grab my portfolio. Here's my report. It does take up the full width of the screen. So what I'm going to do is, instead of changing the layout, slide the size of that column over so I fit the full content of the report. Now let's say next to it, I wanted to put a part of a report as opposed to an entire report. And for that, I can utilize the reportlet gadget. And I'll just drag and drop that. And we'll call this one US Revenue. I'm going to go to a specific report. that has piece of content that I want to utilize that's identified in the report with a bookmark. And here the name of that bookmark is US Map. And now I have that one US Map within that report instead of the entire report available on my dashboard. Now let's add some more. I'm going to create a data visualization. And what I'll grab is a donut chart from our gallery. The chart builder wizard allows me to choose my data source. And these data sources have been predefined and published to the iHub for me to make use of. So I'm just going to grab hold of one of the cubes 
within those data objects and then choose a specific category for my axes. Here I'll choose year and then a value. Click OK and there we have our visualization. We can make further modifications with the drop down menu. We could say edit. We could change the title, the header and the border. We could change the style, probably better being a bar chart than a donut. So here I've changed it. And because this cube has a hierarchy within it, when I click, it will automatically drill down. It knows that hierarchy. I didn't need to do anything to instantiate that functionality. BERT 360 makes building dashboards very easy for the user. It also allows you to customize the information and the display of that information to your liking with some simple drag and drop components and easy to use menu items. Have questions? Need some assistance with Actuate BERT? Hit me up at one of these locations.